Hi everyone, welcome to Mumdas Life Handmade and welcome to Useful DIY Challenge April 2021. I want to thank Eileen from the channel The Hearts DIY for being the co-host of the month. I want to thank all the participants and viewers to the challenge. There's a link to the playlist for the challenge to add and view all the videos and it's given in the description box of this video as well as in my community tab. If you have any issues getting to the playlist, please contact me. This is a sauce bottle and once the sauce is over, I just clean the bottle, soak it in water, tub of water, take away, peel off all the labels from it cleanly and then wash it with soap solution so that it's clean bottle ready to use. Dry it well and it's ready for decorating. This is a very useful investment that I actually made. This is a bottle dispenser that I bought some time back for making this DIY. Usually these dispensers, oil and vinegar dispensers, come around 350 rupees per bottle in a shop. And I just spent 75 rupees per bottle to make it because this pair of dispenser comes for 150 rupees in home center. It's for universal size, fits most of the bottles. And it has got a cap over it and a small hole to allow air through so that the vacuum is not created inside bottles. So I think I made a good investment as I was able to make these dispensers in just rupees 150 Indian rupees in comparison to some 600 to 700 rupees for a cup pair of bottle in the market. I took a piece of circular paper. The circle is of the size as that I want the label. It's difficult to be very regular on a curved surface, therefore I took it as a motif. And I took a black permanent marker to just mark the outlines of the circle where I want it. Then I took black acrylic paint and I just made a logo of the leaf. Now one can use stickers, one can use stamps or one can use decoupage technique for this. I just wanted something very simple. I like my decor, my useful everyday decor to be very simple and neat. Therefore, I just wanted a simple decoration. Therefore, I'm just writing the alphabets, the first alphabets of the words, the monogram as M and V. Now, why M? M is for mustard oil and V is for vegetable oil because these are the two common types of oil that I regularly use in my kitchen and therefore M and V. You can write O and V for oil and vinegar. Next, I took the second bottle and I placed it together so that I find the exact level where I'm going to place my circle and make the pattern again. I think this will look great in my kitchen and pretty useful too. Mm -hmm. 
I had a little suspicion since some time and recently my dear friends also brought this to the notice that some of the subscriptions have been cut down and some people are not getting notified about my upcoming videos. I don't know why is this happening and how to rectify it. All I can ask is, I can just request you to please check your subscription and notification and spread the word. My channel is here and I'm able to bring videos to you just because you are watching me and this supports my videos, this supports my channel. You mean a world to me. So I really want my friends to be with me. I wanted to make some beautiful decor as well as containers for my kitchen. So I took this jam bottles or bell jars or mason jar bottles. I use these jam bottles because they I buy about one to two jam bottles every month gets used in my home. So once it's empty, I clean it, I soak it in a tub of water, take off the labels and then wash it with soap solution and dry it and I have clean bottles ready for use. For decoration, I want to keep it that cheerful summer fruits look. So I'm going to make a watermelon decor and a lemon decor. You can try any other fruits. You want to see more of these? Please let me know in the comment section below. So for the watermelon, I'm using the colors in red, green and black acrylic paint. And later in for the lemon decor, I'll be using green, yellow and white. I'm using acrylic paint here because it sticks to most of the surfaces and stays there for a much longer time. I hope it will stay forever if I'm a little careful while I clean my containers and I'm not using any abrasive to clean it. So if I just wipe it clean nicely with a damp piece of fabric, I think this acrylic paint will stay well. are fun prints, nothing very strict, but they look really beautiful and these will be great containers to hold items in the kitchen as well as for people who like to use jars in form of glasses for everyday use for zero waste, intentional living. This is a beautiful alternative for that as well. Just add a straw and it's beautiful container to drink from. I hope you liked my today's DIY. Do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. 
If you're new here, I would really appreciate subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on so that you're notified each time I post a video. There's a lot happening in the world, in the real world as well as in the online world. I try to make a variety of contents because there's a variety of things that we do in our home and tend to use in our home. So my crafts vary. There are different kinds of art and crafts that I share with you. Um, but a lot of people advise to niche down. I'm thinking uh, about it seriously for future and I hope you will continue to give me your support as you do today and also more so in coming future. I'll see you soon with another DIY. Until then, stay positive, be creative and be happy. Thank you.